Hey guys, Van here from rcnightmare.com. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to, or actually what's involved in upgrading uh, the Traxxas Summit from the stock uh, ESC and motor up to the um, Mamba Monster. So, yeah, upgrading it to uh, from brush to brushless, and it is the Mamba Monster. So this thing is going to rip. So I've already loosened this here a little bit. So what I did was I just removed this uh, captive screw that went through the metal plate back here that goes onto the motor mount. And with the screw removed or bolt, you can just slide. You can see uh, the motor just sliding back there. And then we just slide it off of this uh, little mount point. It's two screws holes down the uh, stock ESC. And like this. We're going to need to pop the cover on the receiver box and the little access panel beneath it here. When you're removing the cover, just make note of uh, this little rubber gasket down here, this little blue one. This time it stayed on the bottom, but sometimes it sticks on the top, and other times it gets all bunched up. So just make sure that it's sitting in its groove properly, because without this being in there proper, you're going to lose that uh, waterproof protection that Traxxas went through all the trouble for. And then just slide some other wires uh, aside, and there you are. Motor ESC. The uh, stock screws for the stock um, motor will not fit in the Mamba Monster. They are of the thicker variety. So, and also on the plate here, you can notice that those, those screws that came with the stock motor went into um, these bigger drilled holes here. You won't be able to use those. You're going to have to use the smaller holes. So like I was saying, the old screw, quite a bit bigger, new screw, smaller. When you're going to mount the uh, motor onto this plate here, um, you should probably dry fit it on here first because the wires, since they stick out the side like this, you're going to want them in a particular orientation. You'd hate to put it in with the wires pointing down. And then this is not going to fit on here. So this is why we dry fit. slide this back on there. This is just to um, let me know which are the mounting holes that I should be uh, using. So another tip here would be to put um, both mounting screws in first loosely because you don't have much tolerance for uh, play back and forth. So if you tighten one down and find that the other side is um, doesn't have enough clearance, you're going to have to take it apart. So put them in both, just loosely, and then come back and tighten them down. And turn to the ESC now. So this ESC is pretty much stock out of the box, except actually went ahead and uh, used some Plasti Dip to try and waterproof it. So I had to pry this uh, back cover off took the whole thing apart and uh, pretty much dipped it. Well, actually, I didn't dip it. I kind of painted the plastic dip onto the circuit board and everything, trying to get it into all the crevices. Um, and then just reassemble, reassembled nicely. Not too bad. And then we have Dean's on here. OK. So um, with the old ESC off, you can see the space that's available here, right? Uh, Traxxas has gone and put a little piece of foam here for the old ESC. And if you look where the mounting holes for the old ESC were, you'll see that the uh, chassis is not even. So even if we pried this foam off, we're not going to have enough room to fit this ESC down on here proper. That's why I went ahead and drilled two small holes here, it's about an eighth of an inch, or big enough for some zip ties. 
So let's get that down. If your zip tie is long enough, you could probably get away with one, but the one I'm using is not quite long enough, so I have two. OK. And again, I just want to show you the zip tie going through down there. So with this zip tie kind of uh, pre-fed through here, I have a bit of sticky tape on the bottom of the ESC as well. Just for some extra uh, shock absorption, the zip tie is going to hold it there. But because this thing is going to be jostling around quite a bit, shock absorption is always good. So let me just remove this. And let me just line this up where I want it. Right there. Again, I only put a little piece of uh, sticky tape because the tape is just there mostly for shock absorption and to help me hold the ESC in place while I'm installing the zip tie. Um, so I'm not too concerned about the uh, amount of coverage from the tape. So with the ESC now in place, um, what I'm going to do is run the signal cable in here into the radio box through the access panel here. And just like we did to remove the old um, cable, I'm going to prop up the uh, receiver and then just fish this connector in. Whoops. There we go. Okay. Kind of messed up the uh, little rubber seal here, so I'm just going to put that back. Now, at this point, we're going to be ready to put back the um, radio box cover and access panel. Um, what you can do is apply some Vaseline or petroleum jelly right over top of these wires just to help uh, maintain that waterproof seal. OK, so now for the motor. Pretty much the reverse of uh, what we did to get it off. Um, what you'll need to do is slide all these uh, signal cables going up to the front servos for the transmission and everything aside so that you have um, a clear channel. The way that this is is the wires are uh, all bunched up here, and you just need to move them aside a little bit. OK. So there it is. The motor's in place. And we can just um, hand tighten this uh, little captive screw in there. So now. Back to the pinion. I had put it on here uh, quite loosely before. So at this point, what we can do is uh, grab our handy slip of paper and just feed it through between the pinion and the spur gear here. I'm actually not going to do that right now since we already have a video for it. So if you want to see how to do uh, proper gear mashing, just check out one of our other vids and you will know. OK, so at this point, you know, normally you'd have your paper going in there. Let's go ahead. Tighten this captive screw. Little dust cover. Back on. Again, just one screw holds this guy in place. This fan is actually held on with Again, just two zip ties. Next to duct, duct tape, zip ties are awesome. So first, I'm going to slide on the zip tie, both of them. And then on goes this little cooling fan. And then the zip ties just fit right over top of the cooling fan and hold the hold the fan onto the motor. Final thing 
uh, to cover here is the battery. The old um, ESC here took two batteries. So we have them hooked up with Dean's here for two batteries. The new ESC only has space for one. So you get this Mamba Monster system to run on a 2S, right? No, you didn't. <laughs> so uh, what I'm getting at is what you're going to need now is a, um, a series connector so that you can hook two batteries into it. It's like a Y cable, but hooked in series. So essentially what you'll have is a 4S, 2S from that one and 2S from the one on the other side. And then with that Y adapter, you can hug it, uh, plug that into your ESC. And that's all she wrote. All right, I hope you guys found that video uh, useful. If you have any, any questions, just post them below. And then also remember to check out our uh, website at rcnightmare.com. Thanks.